All right, just a short video on um, what I think is the correct way to load the Glock GHK-17 magazine with gas and BBs, and also just some things to uh, do and don't do. Um, for those of you that have already got the GHK Glock 17, you've probably figured this out by yourself already. So, the fill valve is located under the base plate. To release the base plate, you have to push in this pin here. So use a punch or something, gently to press the pin, don't press it too hard, slide the base plate forward, it will stop there, it will be captured. Okay. Then of course, fill your magazine as normal, this gas can is actually empty or nearly empty. Now, when the gun was first released, uh, GH Chaos and Moon recommended a three second fill. Uh, a lot of us early adopters found that three seconds was not enough. Um, I later heard from somebody, or from a source I should say, that uh, some of the magazines that came with the guns, for the first batch of guns, were fitted with a uh, slow fill valve. Um, so three seconds really wasn't enough. Um, we found that four or five seconds, I do five seconds, seems to be fine. Um, I've heard that the spare magazines that were released separately and magazines maybe coming in the current batch of guns should all have faster fill valves. So three seconds may be okay. I'm still using five seconds. Right, after you've gassed, slide the base plate back. Always double check that the pin has popped back into place. Sometimes it doesn't pop back into place. If it doesn't pop back into place, if it's like that, you run the risk of your base plate being knocked off um, when it's in the pouch or in the gun. So if the base, if the retaining pin gets stuck in the magazine tube, again, use a punch, gently push it, try to get it to pop back up. If that doesn't work, keep the base plate on, use a non-marring tool like this cleaning rod, push down through the feed lips, Until you hear the retaining pin has popped back up and it didn't there I thought it did but give it a general poke with a punch and it's now fine um, now I'm gonna take the base plate all the way off now the retaining pin plastic retaining pin is actually held in place by this screw this screw prevents it from popping out uh, this is why I'm saying keep the base plate on if you need to push down from the follow-up because if you don't keep the base plate on and you're pushing down you can actually overcome this screw and the plastic retaining pin and the magazine spring will fly out across the room and you run the risk of losing them. Uh, I've done this a couple of times. This is, this is how I know. So again you can see my plastic retaining pin is stuck up there in the magazine tube so I put the base plate back on. I use my plastic cleaning rod, push down, there it's popped back up and the retaining pin is back in place. Now for loading BBs, um, my preferred loader is the loader is the WE, what I call the dyno dildo loader, very rugged strong loader with the GHK adapter glued on. Um, just hold a 30 degree angle, very easy, to, very easy and quick to load. Now I have found with some of my magazines, uh, it may be possible to actually load an extra round in, a 20 f 21st round, I haven't counted yet. But I have encountered a few times um, where I've been putting the gun in, okay, and it hasn't wanted to lock in uh, with the slide forward because there's that extra BB and it may be stopping the magazine from going all the way home, or you may just need to give it an extra hard slap. Um, this one seems to be going in okay now. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's about it. I mean, the main thing to watch out for is uh, just uh, every time after you fill the gas, make sure this pin is uh, has popped back up. And of course, I should have said this in the beginning, gas your magazines first before you load the BBs, because if you load the BBs, then the magazine spring is under tension and it's difficult to depress the spring to release the base plate to gas it. So gas first, then load BBs, and make sure your pin is back, popped up before you put your magazine back in the pouch or back in the gun.
All right, that's it.